go live on this channel often, but I'm going to tonight. I'm eating dinner by myself, so I might as well eat with you guys. And you can see you guys crotch on my head. That's weird. So we're at Rockford Casino, the temporary casino. And we're eating at this place called, oh, I see a notification. Jason was there, is live now, exactly. So we're at this place called Rock River Barn Grill. They call it their steakhouse. We'll see how it is. I don't really know what to think. So can I see chat in here? Top chat, alt chat, super chat, alt chat. Oh, there it is. What's up to the stars? Cassidy, Natalie, Carol, everyone's here. Yep, yep, yep. No, a second, what's up, Tracy? Okay, so I'm gonna review this place live tonight. We're gonna see how the food is. I don't really know what to think. Yeah, Shelly, I'm gonna stay here for dinner tonight. I filmed a couple daily sessions earlier. I did okay on it. I went live, I did okay on live, and I lost a little bit after. It wasn't, didn't take that long, but I lost a bunch. But. What's up, Connie, Maureen? So, one of the guys, a lot of people that recognize me here, he goes, you gotta get the prime rib. I don't know. 10 bucks. Could it be that good? We're gonna find out. I might get a lot of it. So we'll see. What's up, funny and fun videos? So it tells me I need to go live here. Like, this is the recommended view. So let's see if it gets pushed out more. I don't really understand why. You know, a lot, a lot of people are struggling with this now, but I do this on person, I have purpose. Slotty math teacher. We're at Rock River Barn Grill in Rockford, Illinois. I know, Hugh, I'm getting hungry too. Let me put the microphone on. You guys will hear me a little better. Yeah, $10 for a piece of prime rib? I don't know if I trust that. Do you trust it? I don't really trust it. All right, let's see if this sounds a little better. This might help. Kelly could go for some prime rib. Come on over. I'll buy. I think I got a big comp here. All right, does it sound better? It's like so heavy, this microphone. Slot crush. Hey, girl. All right, just making some moderators just in case anything crazy happens here. But, yeah, so let's see what they got in here. Again, let me go up here. I don't know if I trust it. $10. Otherwise, they've got surf and turf, filet. They got prime New York strip, prime bone and ribeye, 24 ounces. So it's provided by Purely Meat Company in Chicago. So it's got to be okay. Dan's like McDonald's. No, I'm not going to eat McDonald's. What's up, Crowley family? My husband always says to me, it's either you or him, because I watch so much of you. Tell your husband he's done, he's out, he's gotta go. <laughs> I know, we gotta try this for sure. We gotta try this for sure. I mean, the $10 looks really good, except for it's, I don't know. And the menu's a little wrinkly too and a little wet, so you can see that. But again, this is a temporary location, so they're working on it. So I got $500 to spend tonight, so I'm going to spend it. Just watch me. What's up, hand pay, hand pay K? Could be better than what we get here in Milwaukee. Yeah, you guys saw my Dream Dance review? That place was horrible. I mean, it's so bad. I would never pay for that at all. But I got 500 bucks to spend tonight. And in Illinois, you can't spend it on alcohol at all. I don't know if they're gonna come here and take my order. I've been here a long time. What's up, Chico? You wanna know what's on the menu tonight? $9.99 prime rib. Doesn't get much better than that, right? Yeah, Kelly, 500 bucks for food. You lose a little bit, you get it back in food. Just put it in your belly. I'll show you how you order. You take some home, too. Maybe I have to raise my hand here for someone to come and 
and get me. I'm not sure. But you're gonna love my order. It's gonna be nuts. We'll take some stuff home. Have to order. So it's seventy-eight dollars for the prime and ribeye. The strips fifty-eight. Surf and turf seventy-two. Eight ounce lobster tail. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna have to order the whole menu. Yeah, Chico says get all kinds of desserts for the little one, and I'll have a sugar, I'll have a sugar rush all weekend. I'm gonna tell you, if I get all kinds of desserts for the little one, I'll eat it all in the middle of the night. I won't be able to sleep. That's all I'm gonna think about. Well, the prime rib doesn't look the worst. Let's see if they're if they're gonna wait on me here. We'll see. Snow crab, 56 bucks. That doesn't seem worth it. Hi. Hi. Are you ready for me? Are you ready for me? Yes, I they am. Didn't, they didn't tell me that. Uh, they were mad at you. They were mad at you. They said. <laughs> yeah. Calamari. Okay. All right, I'm gonna order. What's up, Anicia? Dan, I'm live right now, so it's, don't mind me, but. Here's the double, Jason. Oh, here it is. Okay, take a look. So how much is that? 20 bucks? 20 bucks for the double. $20. So it doesn't look the worst, but I think you ruined it. You got a medium. Oh, what'd you get? Medium rare? I would get rare. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. How is it? Is it okay? The prime yeah. rim? Yeah, the prime rim's excellent. Okay. All right, so I'm going to have two orders. One for here and then one to go. Ooh, awesome. I have five. Okay. So there's two comps at $250 each and there's $50 coupon or something. Okay. So I'm going to spend it all. Excellent. Can uh, does the tip count as part of the comp or is tip separate no, in Illinois? Tip is separate. Okay, no comping drinks either, right? Uh, alcoholic drinks. You can or you cannot. You cannot. Okay, in Illinois, that's how it is. Okay, so for here, is there other specials or this is it? The prime rib is the special right now. All right, I'll do a double prime okay. rib rare though. Do you have that? Yeah. Okay, I'll do rare. What does it come with? Um, it comes with all ground potatoes and then asparagus. Okay, I'll do that. And then to start, I'm going to get a wedge salad. Okay. How's the French onion? Is it baked? It is baked, yes. It's got the melted cheese on Oh, the yeah, yeah. i got to do that for sure. Okay. And I probably should try the pork belly. Okay. Pork belly, yeah. And... I'm going to do the bone-in ribeye, medium rare. Okay. I know, they're like one of each, one of each, okay. <laughs> now is this all for here? Yeah, it's for me to eat here. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then to go, you're gonna get two orders of fried Brussels sprouts, two orders of portobello, Uh, one red snapper, three salmon. The braised veal shanks to this go. One? Yeah, one of those, yep. Okay. The fungi e tartufo, <laughs> what do you call that? I don't know. This one, the risotto, oh, it's risotto. That's mushroom risotto. Okay. Did you know that? I'll do some more. Yeah, that's why I didn't realize that. I want one for here and one to go, please. And then the uh, the egg noodle bolognese sauce. We'll take one of those to go. Bolognese, you said? Yeah. Two orders of broccolini to go. Yep. Wondering what the server is thinking when you're ordering all this food. Nobody judges me, you guys. Leave, leave it alone. That <laughs> I should have gotten a bigger book. A bigger <laughs> book, yes, exactly. Okay, I guess see where we're at on that. Um, you can just bring the stuff out for me as it comes. It doesn't matter. Okay. As it's ready. Anything to wash that down? Oh, yeah, water. Water. A lot of water. of water. Yeah, I'll drink water, please. Yeah. Should I just bring you the 
pitcher. That'd be great. I will take that. I drink a lot of water. Okay, lots of water. You got it. I should probably get a lobster tail too, just in case for here. For here? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, Natalie, I'm going to spend it all. It's 550 bucks. Okay. Shall I what leave is, the menu? Yeah, what does this mean? Ao. Do you know? Yeah, what does that mean? No. I think it's just like the soup of the day. It's an add on, though, for like your. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I like it. All right, I'll wait, I'll wait. Yeah, we'll see where we're at. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Who's asked us to check with you if we can have dinner here? A Shirley Temple? I'm not getting a Shirley Temple. No way. So I haven't eaten all day today. This is like... This is that... Yeah, exactly. You give her a big tip, she'll be happy about it. Kay Tigger. Save me a seat. I'm on the way. We are going to destroy this place today. Let me get three steaks, potatoes, a <laughs> beef shank, and a lobster tail. Exactly, Polly T. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm not, I don't really want to drink. It's not, I don't drink that often at all. Rocky, where am I? Rock River Bar and Grill, Waukee, not Waukegan, uh, Rockford, Illinois. We're at Hard Rock in Rockford. What's up, Dan Wilder? Lee, I'll pass on the wine tonight. Oh, maybe I'll get a glass. I only got so much room in my belly, I gotta put food in it. I haven't eaten a thing today, nothing, zero. Had some water and that's about it. That is about it. What's up, Jordan? Tracy, I don't drink at home either, though. I got like 2,000 bottles of wine at home, but I don't drink at all. Uh, Anicia, did I, did I see your comment? Oh, the German Christmas video. I think I did, yeah. No, I appreciate you watching that, because you're not able to really get out. No, I, I love doing this kind of stuff. I'm not live often on here, but maybe I'll be live more often. You just ate Subway, but I got room for whatever you have left. I'll take the scrap, Crowley said. Feel bad for your husband because of me. I've ruined your relationship with him. It sounds like. <laughs> Patricia, no, I'm not gonna eat. Oh, I'll eat like most of the food I get. You guys can see how much I can eat. Kelly had one chicken tender all day. Amy said all the fancy food, and to be honest, the Midway Burger is probably better. I would agree. I'll take a cheeseburger any day. Natalie loves to watch me eat. Lee, do I work out at the gym? I did work out this morning. I did like chest, triceps, and uh, a little bit of cardio, not enough. John, I'm actually in my basement. I have a restaurant here too, with a casino. Midwest Slots, hey. What's for dinner tonight, Midwest Slots? I ordered the entire menu. I just don't understand how you can do it. I mean, I know they got a loss leader, but $9.99 for a prime rib? And you gotta pay for this card? How much did that card cost? Comes off of it. I love it when you pick your teeth. Do I really pick my teeth when I eat? Okay, John Peterson says the Whopper is bigger, better than the Big Mac. I want to know what you guys think. What do you think I like better? If I had to pick one sandwich from McDonald's or Burger King, I'd get the chicken sandwich from, I'd get the chicken sandwich, original chicken sandwich from Burger King. No lettuce, only mayo. That's what I like. And then I would get Whopper second. Yeah. Connie, you have beautiful teeth. No braces. No cavities, ever. You know why? Because my head is so freaking ginormous that they fit in my head. So, 
Ryan, do you like the desserts? Yeah, you gotta watch out if you're diabetic. When will you open a casino in your basement? Guys, you are, I play in my basement every day, don't you see? Ooh, thank you. That's a start. Thank you, that's perfect, thank you. Cheers. Go on. That's how fast it goes. Oh, they got cheesecake here? Uh-oh. Yep, it's gone. Midwest Slots, no wine tonight. Yeah, it sort of tastes like it's straight from the toilet, the tap water here. What, do you ever eat the original chicken made like a Whopper? You just blew my mind, I might have to go tomorrow. There's no Mrs. Hand Pay, you weirdos. Never been married. Wallace, so it's got like grill marks on it. He was right. Smash that thumbs up. If you guys give me thumbs up on these videos, like right away, you know, it can help with the algorithm and get pushed out to more people. Sasha says lemon will help the tap water. Is it as good as it normally is? It is, yeah. Oh, they won't let you take them home? You're a super high roller. The, the rules don't apply to you. <laughs> yeah. They'll take it to your car. Probably. Yeah, yeah. But, but, yeah, it's pretty darn good. I would, you know, I don't know what your tastes are. They're really high. It's probably not the best primary beverage. We'll find out. I mean, if it's cooked all right, that's what it's about, yeah. so. Probably. Yeah. I probably like it. Yeah. I ordered some backup stuff. Just to kill I did. I ordered a steak, too. Yeah. 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 Are you on the phone now? Or do you want to I'm just live right now, yeah. <laughs> Do you know in Illinois that they, they charge regular people 5% on their jackpots regardless if they lose or win for the whole year? Except, oh, Illinois. Illinois. Except if you file as a professional gambler. Yeah, they have different. there's different rules in every state. Wisconsin, right. they do 7.65%. But if you file as a professional gambler... They won't waive it? You only can waive it if you do something called session loss in Wisconsin, and you have to keep track of, it's a, it's a complicated thing, but well, it's all, yeah, every state's different. Yeah, we gotta have some, enough yeah. documentation if they audit. Yep. They just yeah. to save 5%. But it adds up. It, it adds up, for sure. Yeah. Especially if you have a losing year and you want to sell another thousand. Yep, yep, me too. Midwest Slots, do you get to watch me eat? Yeah, you get to watch me eat. A1 sauce. Thank you so much for hitting the thumbs up. Yeah, I usually don't put sauce on good steak. If it's like not a good steak, I mean, I wouldn't put like A1 on, on prime rib, but I'd put it on other red meat. Lee says, looks like you had a facial recently. You're beautiful. And I appreciate that. I am beautiful. Not really any wrinkles. You can see how perfect my nose. Oh, no. Chico says, over and under tonight's game is 37. I'm thinking they score 20. <laughs> I don't trust me with NFL. Whatever I say, do the opposite. Oh, the chicken sandwich is dressed like the Whopper. I don't want to do that, no. I want it to be cooked like the Whopper somehow. I was going to ask him that when I go there. Hey, can I get the chicken sandwich cooked like the Whopper? Tracy, too sweet. Aaron, thank you for that. Aaron McBee. Yeah, this is like inside of an old grocery store here. Hi there. How are you? How are you? I got a lucky coin for you. I'm on my other channel now. Jason was there. Good luck. Good deal. Yeah, you guys get to watch me. Chico's like, it's called a chicken whopper. I'm going to try that. Yeah, I don't know, man. 
Jordan from New Mexico. Happy holidays. So let's see how long it takes for the food here. Cause they like, I think they cook everything in like one kitchen, like over there. Yeah, Paul E.D., I'm, get, I'm like starving right now. I'm pretty much wasting away. If I, if I took my shirt off, you guys would be worried about me. Will I make an OnlyFans channel? What would you want to see? What is the big gift the girls wanted this year? Nothing like really big, but buy him a lot of stuff already. Spanky Neil Mahler says, I already had dinner, but I'm getting hungry again. Raven, will it be slap play? Didn't you watch me earlier on Facebook? Yes, I was live. Do you guys like this view better? And you'll see my food in a second, it'll go like that. Yeah, Raven, you can see it on YouTube or see it on Facebook, or I'm sorry, on Facebook, and then you see it on YouTube tomorrow. We will be live from Rivers next, next Wednesday. I still have my same shoes on, you guys. All the same. Paul, I agree with you. I need to try some good Portuguese food. I have not had any of that. I don't even know what that is. Lee, I can't do a slot pull. That's illegal. Honestly, there's just there's so many legal issues surrounding it, unfortunately. What's up, Dravian? Try table games, I love those. Slot. Yeah, Chico, I didn't get a ton of free play here, unfortunately. I get more at other places. Raven, which Hollywood? There's Hollywood in like St. Louis, there's one in Illinois, there's one in Florida. Ryan says, how do you get your daughter to eat some of the food? Mine won't stray away from basic foods. I honestly think that's on you, Brian. You gotta make sure that you don't give them a choice. She doesn't have a choice and she's hasn't had a choice since she was born. I mean she eats oysters, she eats uh, lobster, she'll eat anything, mussels, um, anything I make for her, she's got to try and eat, so I don't really give them a choice. St. Louis, I'd like to get back there soon, I do like that there. Yeah, I'm not going to go back to Tampa anytime soon, I really don't have any plans to go there or to go to Hollywood down there. <laughs> Crowley family, you're going to have dinner with me tonight, exactly. Lee says, what kind of music do I listen to? Everything. Guns N' Roses, obviously, right? When I was hammered singing on there. Yeah, that's why I don't really drink. Dravian, coming back to Arizona? I don't know if I'm going to. Some uh, controversy over there, so I don't think I can. Long story. Pamela, am I going back to Potawatomi? Not a chance. No interest. I go to the casinos that appreciate my play. I do not believe you, WH Crystal Ware, that you won 350K last night. Lori, you win because you look fashionably fabulous. It's very sweet of you, but I don't agree. <laughs> yeah, Raven, the steakhouse at Potawatomi Dream Dance, absolutely horrible. And that's an older video because I haven't played there since like March, but um, it it hasn't gotten much better from what people have said. Connie, how about Vegas? Vegas, end of January, my birthday is probably the only time I'm going to go there. Yep, Midwest. I haven't had a live on this channel. September maybe? It's been a long time. Exactly, you won $375. Gotcha. Aaron McBee says, do you get together with other YouTube slotters? I do, like Midwest Slots, J 
Jackpot Joe slots, Gambler's Unknown, um, FNS, NJ Slot Guy. There's a lot. I stay out of the drama. That's why you don't see me hanging out with a lot of them. Oh, yeah, Paul E.D., I was live at the Kohler event, too. Yeah, that was fun. We got a lot of those videos that are going to come out as well. I've never been to North Carolina. Yeah, Joe wanted me to go to Vegas, but honestly, I just I don't like giving him all my money, and that's what usually happens. Chico, yeah, last time you sat next to me, I got my butt kicked. I didn't do so well. Pamela, I would suggest not booking with D-Lucky, honestly. So I, I left a legitimate review of him, and apparently he doesn't spend as much time with everyone else he spent with me. A lot of people are disappointed. So I would say don't book. It's not worth it. Hugh, go check in your crew. No problem. Oh, Atlantic City. I'm going to be playing there at some point. Uh, we've got a deal set up with uh, Ocean's Casino. There was a chance I was going to go out there this weekend, but I'm not. Sandy, I'm talking in a can. What does that mean? Doesn't sound good? Doesn't sound good? Yeah, Midwest. I was sitting on a toilet that time, and it's just in the design center. It's pretty cool. Jordan says I'm the greatest slot player of all time. I don't know about that. Exactly, Aaron. I'd rather just have the drama from the slot machine. There's enough. There's enough drama in a slot machine, much less to have in your life. Gambling Granny, what's up? Hey, girl. Good to see you. Yeah, so Gambling Granny is one that goes live, right? Uh, awesome channel. Check her out. So you gotta, you can request songs, and they'll play them. It, it's amazing. But um, she'll probably notice, too, like, I'm going vertical here, and now it's recommending. It, like, if YouTube is recommending that you do something, you probably should do it. So I'm seeing if, like, this video will get pushed out more because it's vertical. I don't know why. It's maybe something with shorts. What's up, Greg D? Sandy says, yes, on the prime rib. Can't spell it. Uh, Macau, I'm not going to go there. No plans on going overseas. Bro, hand pay K, you are right. I don't understand casinos that don't use you for free advertising rather than having issues. Just bad business. I am 100% of their target demographic. Right? With all the followers. Blows my mind. Raven, thank you. Yep, Gambling Granny or Dice are amazing. Fun channel to watch. Horseradish on prime rib. Not my thing. I love horseradish, not on my prime rib. Someone's going to get blocked on here real soon. Stop saying weird stuff. Chico, you got 86 for life for filming? From where? Carol, I've never been to the Dirty D, the Detroit. I've not been there yet. Yeah, Paul D. most casinos don't drop their pants for me. I play at the casinos who appreciate me. That's it. And I don't get paid from a casino to play. I get paid based on my play. My play is massive. Nobody that plays bigger than me. Yeah, the, the post of the girls camping, we had a ton of fun at Jellystone Park. And actually, um, we'll probably do another video there. They've got like a drive through area for lights, Christmas lights. There's a lot of those. We enjoy doing that kind of stuff too. I don't have my daughter now until, until Monday, but. Oh yeah, Chico. The casinos that don't allow us to film I'm going to say they are struggling because if they're not keeping up with social media and the free advertising that goes on here, they cannot be very successful. Because you don't just trip over yourself to find these casinos. Yeah, Kelly, I did see that in Oshkosh. I get my hair cut up, up in Oshkosh, so I did see that up there. Lori says, what do you put horseradish on then? I put it on prime rib. I put it on my oysters. 
and honestly, like if I make like a sandwich, I don't eat many sandwiches, but if I do, like a ham and cheese sandwich, I'll spread a little bit on there. I love it. It's so good. And like the straight horseradish. What else would I eat it on? Shrimp? Shrimp, maybe I'd put it on. So, you guys say some states gaming commissions won't let you film. Do you, you know that most gaming commissions are self-regulated by the individual tribes? So that's BS. Yeah, Raven, there's a lot of channels that play my videos on TikTok. Thank you. You're very nice. We're right back with the water. All right, here we go. I got a stack of napkins and a spoon and a plate. Weber's mustard. All right, I'm, I'm getting excited because I've had nothing. So right now, it is 7.22 p.m. I have not eaten a thing today. Pauly D says French. French onion soup incoming. French onion soup's amazing. Do you like the tomato base or like the broth beef based, beef based soup? Yeah, exactly, Tracy. Just drink some toilet water. Do you have any water that's not from the toilet? Oh my God, are you serious? It sort of tastes like it's from the toilet. Okay, let's try this one. <laughs> Is it different? <laughs> Let me try it. <laughs> from a pitcher this time. Okay, it's a little better. Where was the other one from? Out of a picture. I'll just drink it. It's fine. Actually, I'm going to bring you... You have bottle water? Yeah. Well, I have... Let's taste test this. That's what we're doing. Right yes, here. yes. Yes, okay. that's what we're doing. So With ice, please. You don't like toilet water, that's fine. No, okay. No picture water, and I'm going to get some out of the fountain. Okay, perfect. And I'm going to get your bottle You're water. You're amazing. Too. Okay, we're going to have a taste test. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, she gets it. Gambling Granny, are you close to any... Well, you tried the Hollywood casinos. They're not... Are, uh, what is that, Penn? They're not doing much for you? Penn was really good to me. I mean, I don't know. They were, they were great. Yep, gambling and food, that's it. So Chico cannot drink tap water from Vegas. Yeah, I don't know. Some like sometimes just the water just tastes. Yeah, it's just I don't know where it's coming from. Maybe I'm tasting crypto spiridium. Karen, you're gonna have some French onion soup tomorrow. What's this one? Coming? Yep. Santa yeah, exactly. Coming <laughs> we got it all. This is from the fountain. Okay. Okay. It's filtered a little different, okay. And then we have the bottled water. <laughs> so this is all perfect, thank you. Yeah, it's all very good. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, Granny, send me a DM. Yeah, so actually the lettuce wasn't completely like grown enough yet. Like they're still growing it. And they're ready to harvest it in a little while, they said. So do you know there's like water testing, like water sommeliers? I've seen some some show on it where water obviously from all over comes, uh, it, it tastes different from all different parts of the world. And people can tell. People can tell where it's from. It's wild. Where's the food? I agree with you. I'm getting so hungry. Yeah, I don't really drink soda or pop or whatever you call it. Which restaurant, Hannah says, Rock River, Rat, the Hard Rock in Rockford, Illinois?
So we're here for 34 minutes. So we ordered about 30 minutes ago. Yeah, the staff's like, oh no, I gotta make all this food. And it's not that busy. I mean, the tables are full, but. Council Oaks, I think it's okay. Been a much better. It's all right. <laughs> Wine is so much healthier, exactly. Yeah, Pauly D, I, I'm not disagreeing. It should have had something by now. Let's see how my videos are performing today. Almost 360,000 followers on Mr. Hanpei. Triple Fortune Dragon Unleashed. Dan, let me look that up here real quick. I think I played it though. Oh no. I have not played, played that game before. Guys, I know, I'm not gonna complain. That's how you end up getting pubes in your food. So you just wait. You just gotta wait. Yeah, I'm not sure what they're doing to the they're doing with the steak. They're probably trying to cook it medium rare in a sous vide, or a rare in a sous vide. Aaron, I think some of Gordon Ramsay's restaurants are worth it. I do enjoy Hell's Kitchen at the right place. The beef wellington is to die for, it's amazing. But realize, you go to a place like that, it's not a lot different than a McDonald's from the way you know, it's set up. It's gonna be the same virtually everywhere you go. I do like it. Uh, on other Ramsey places. I've not done Ramsey steak or any of that. Black and blue, Christy? Nah, I'm not, not on a thick piece of meat. Rocky, will I come back to Tampa? Maybe at some point. Seminole has to step up their game with what they're gonna offer me if they want me to come out there. It's a tough place to win. So uh, that plays a factor in my decision, right? I should have gotten a salad probably by now, right? I think I ordered a wedge. I mean, you get to a point where you're just so hungry that you're like, I'm just not gonna eat. Dianic, what's for dessert? Probably steak. You'll see how much I got. To find out. Oh, I did okay at the Hard Rock Hotel, the guitar, but I did lose overall every trip I've been there. I mean, I do have the losing videos and they just don't get pushed out as much. Aaron says, favorite machine ever? I don't know. I mean, if I'm gonna play a machine with fairly, I like one with fairly low volatility so you get a lot of hand pays, it's Ultimate Firelink. And I would do the Mega, the Ultra Bank, that's 500 bucks a spin. Keith, Foxwoods, Foxwoods, we're gonna have a pretty big, there's like, it could be up to 50 channels there. It's like January 11th through the 14th. You're gonna wanna go there. Trace, am I ready for Christmas? Not even close. A lot of stuff coming in, but we're not ready yet. I know, Pauly D. It's all right. I'm dealing with it. Midwest is like, attaboy. Ultimate Fire Link, exactly. So who watched the Bucks game last night? Giannis put up, what, 64 points or something? Killed it. Yeah, Raven, I'm okay without having uh, the bread right now. I am not ready for holidays. <laughs> Karen, will I go to a buffet? Can't maintain this figure without going to one. Aaron, do I have a dog? I do. 
can see it in some of the videos on here. <laughs> Tina's like, that's why I carry pretzels in my bag. Where's the food? Exactly. I know. It's probably, they're probably telling me something, sir. You could probably skip a meal, so we're just going to not bring it to you. Dita, my good luck charm. So while I've not been to Burns in Tampa, I don't even know what that is. Rocky Mandrich, guess how tall I am. People seem to think I'm like five feet tall. Not even close. I'm a giant. Six nine? No, no, no. Ooh, we're gonna get a bunch of food at once here. Yep. All right. The wedge salad, the soup, and the pork belly. All right. Let's do it. What are we gonna eat first? Yeah, I'm six five. Ish. Sort of. So let's do the pork belly first. So they actually have jalapenos on it. The texture is perfect on this. Hard to see. But it's cooked perfectly. I don't like it like slimy, right? It's not bad. What's up, Jim? Look at this. I don't like that. They watered down their dressing. Oh, canned onions on the wedge? What is that? No fresh pepper. Yeah, I could not compete with Joey Chestnut or that woman. There's no way. Yeah, the wedge is not great. Yeah, I don't know why places do that. I mean, I understand you want to cut on cost, but we can all tell when you put water in ranch dressing. French onion time. <laughs> the cheese is really good. So it is not it is not a tomato base. It's like a beef base, like a, I like that. The soup is good. I have free bread. Ooh. Did you see my total? Do I have to order more stuff? I have not looked yet. I haven't put your to-go stuff in. Okay. I didn't want to bombard. Oh, you can do it because I'm, oh, yeah. Because I'm going a far way away, so it doesn't You're matter. You're going far, far away. An hour and a half, so. Yeah, but it can be cold, so when I leave. How much are you trying to spend again? Five fifty. Five fifty. Yeah. Okay. 
Thank you. I'll bring it in now, yeah. Okay. Now I sound like I'm in a can. I don't know why. Paul ID, I'm going to be here for like three hours. I need like a scissors to eat this stuff here. They do give you that at some places. What's up, Paula? All right, so how's the bread? Okay, so it seems like a little, I was trying a little bit of this. Yeah. It's like dry. It's not even worth the carbs. No. Oh, look at this though. It's like onion. Just gonna dip it in the butter. That's much better. Yeah, this is pretty good. Paul D, I usually do dip it in the soup. I don't want you guys to judge me. You're probably judging me because I didn't. So the soup is the way to go here. That's really good. This is a big bite. I think biscuits from KFC might be better than that one. Yeah, this is the best. Dravy goes, water takes up important. I'm okay with that. Yeah, the pork belly's all right. I don't know some of the other things that's in here. It's good, thank you. I actually have some different recipes for French onion soup. They're really good. Yeah, any kind of like soft bread, that's tough for me too. You know what the hardest thing for me is chips and salsa. Keep me away from that. Like a spicy pico de gallo. That's what I gotta watch out for. But, is it the best ever? No, but it's, it's really good. Red Lobster Biscuits, people do love that. Thai food, yeah, I love Thai food. Do you put wine in your French onion soup? Some people do, right? Sushi, I do love sushi, but I don't like like trout or salmon. Oh, we gotta do a little bit more. What should we do? Um, what's for dessert? What do you have? Oh my goodness. Oh, you got a lot? We can do cheesecake, carrot cake, 
We'll do. This is just plain cheesecake. Uh, it will New York cheesecake, so you get berries yep. on the side, fresh berries. We'll do three orders of that to go. Okay. Also, a thing of whipped potatoes. Okay. We'll do. Ooh, the po the half chicken. Okay. Do that to go. Are you gonna pronounce that? Nope. <laughs> Pollo al forno. Okay. I don't know. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's pretty close. In order of cauliflower. Okay. Two baked potatoes loaded. Sour cream on the side. Is that close? You think that's probably close. And you're looking at me for more. So I'll just do. <laughs> I, mean, that uh, could, I mean, that might be close. A lobster tail to go. And that'll do it. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Do you need me to take any dishes or are you still pick it? Yeah, that bread can go. Okay. This can go, the salad, please. Okay. Thank you. You're very welcome. Yeah, I, I ordered a lot of everything here. Yeah. Cheesecake is like my favorite dessert, by far. Yeah, Thai food, spicy, the spicier the better. I mean, I can eat just about any level of spice, too. Do they have duck, Tita? I know. Not here. We had amazing duck, though. We have a video that'll be coming out when we were at Yamava a few weeks ago. It was cool. We were all sitting there and they had like a big like lazy Susan on the table. So you didn't have to get up. You just spun it to grab your food. It was amazing. Robin, Dita, Mario, and George. Ham pay K is like, do you have a cooler in your truck to keep it warm or keep it cold, edible? No, you just turn the air conditioning on. All right, I ate all the soup. Without drinking it like that. A little bit more pork belly. Very crispy. I guess I like that. So what's your spice level? Can you guys... Someone asked if my eyebrows are tinted? No. Not tinted. What's up, Jay Brewer? Time for half a cow. Yeah, we're almost there. So, who likes cilantro? I love cilantro. Some people say it tastes like soap, right? I don't, I love it. What's up, Mesha? Mesha? I can do ghost pepper, but I don't like habanero. Figure that one out. <clears throat> Karen put cilantro on her salad, I like that. I really like the micro greens that you can get from places too. Dwala says your husband's from Trinidad, he makes hot sauce, sign me up for some of that. Griffin does a tie three or four. I always go the maximum. Mimi, this is Lacoste. 
It's Lacoste and Psycho Buddy. Thank you. Hand PK is mild everything. Fleming Steakhouse? I've been to a Fleming's, but not there. Raven shoes are just the big black, big black Gucci's. <laughs> Polly D's like, Jason does max bet and max heat. I know. <sighs> Ooh, it's kind of saying, how many employees do you have? You have to have at least five or more non-related employees for the ERC program. Emily says, hey boy, where are you eating? I'm at Rock River Bar and Grill. It's the Steakhouse at Rockford Casino. I agree. So that's a really good point. Hot sauce is more about the flavor than the heat. I agree with that 100%. And I really just, I don't like habanero, but every other pepper I love. Yeah, so, yeah, send me a message. I can help you uh, get hooked up with that company. You're going to want to do it soon, though. Norma, I agree with you. Dita, I love you. You seem so sweet, and I miss it when you're not with Mr. Hanpei. Yeah, Dita lives like New York, I'm in Wisconsin, so. Lee says, do you have a P.O. Box? Yeah, it's on my every single video. P.O. Box 165, Hubertus, Wisconsin. Oh, there she is, Robin T. Hey there. We were just talking about you when we were eating with the Lazy Susan at the whatever restaurant that was, the, uh, the Asian place. Almost the whole crew here is here. Where's George? Red Dragon. Not that place. Red Dragon, not as good. Robin just got home from work. It's been a long day. Yeah, Daniel, don't be a chicken hot sauce. Look at my beard. Why is it all gray here, but not here? Can you guys explain that to me? I might have to cut it so I can get rid of the gray. Fifty-eight minutes of this live. Bad? No, I don't color it. No, it's all natural. I'm like a zebra. Zebra. Look, it looks like it's dark up here too. Hong Bao. That is the place. You're you're right. Norma, I agree. I have the best crew ever. It's taking a long time to get here. But you got to grow it slow and steady. Yep, Robin works hard, play hard, plays hard. She definitely does. Midwest Slot says beard is on point. Salt and Peppa, sorry. So, sort of, right? Pretty soon it's going to be white and, like, gone. Uh-oh, here we go. Thanks. All right. What is that? Medium? Medium rare, right? Yeah, medium rare. Perfect. 
Awesome. And the Fun Guitar 2 will be out in about three minutes. What will come out? The Fun Guitar 2. Oh, yes, yeah. perfect. Could I get a knife, please? Yeah. We're getting rowdy here. We'll try the potatoes. That's all I could eat first. Uh, not a lot of seasoning on those. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, set that over here. All right, you guys can watch with me and eat. All right, so this is $20 for the steak and potatoes. Let's see how it tastes. You go right to the middle. Try not to gross you out with too big a bites. It's all right. I mean, I'm hungry, so I'll eat it. Let's see what the outside tastes like. It's all right. So they really like black in this. The lobster. I think you gotta get your fingers in there. It's super black. Yeah, the steak is, it's, it's probably a little bit closer to medium rare for me, but still good. All right, let's see how the lobster is. Too much butter. Mm. This is actually cooked perfectly. I, mean, I like the char on it. Mm. Total opposite. You guys thought this was gonna be dry, and it's perfect. This is really good. Excellent. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Like, this is really good. This is not. <laughs> well, okay. Let me know. I'll talk to Chef. No, it's okay. Okay. So, I didn't add on that um, second lobster tail because you were already at 548. Mm -hmm. So, if you'd like me to add it on, I still can. Oh, we're good. Yeah. This is perfect. Wait, did you take the tax off, though, when you use comp? Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'll put the lobster tail on though. It's so good. I want to have some at home. <laughs> Thank you. That is a massive amount of risotto. All right, lobster tail. It's really good. All right, this is like some sort of a mushroom risotto. All right. Robin goes lobster. That's how all you weirdos from the Northeast talk. An AH at the end of it. Texas tacos. I'd have to go full dirt bag and drink the butter like a shot. Yeah, that's not my thing. What would I drink like that? There are some things. Yeah, I don't know. I've made some really good lobster or some really good like saffron risotto, mushroom risotto. This isn't it. This is a lot. never seen that much. The good life, I'm not a horseradish guy. But the lobster was phenomenal. All right, let's get into the steak. Okay. So, 
this is a prime ribeye. Let's go first. I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna cut it right off the bone. Let's see what it looks like over here. So, cooked. I think it's perfect medium rare. And that's hard for me to order ribeye because it's usually tough, right? He goes, we ain't shooting butter. You know what I would do with the butter though? Watch. I'll pour the butter on my steak and destroy that. Okay, the steak, it's actually pretty good. It does taste prime. The flavor's good. It's cooked perfectly. You can eat all of that. Pretty good. I know, it's not the right butter to put on here, but it works. Yeah, the steak is the steak is really good. Way better than the prime rib. But if you're here and you want to get a prime rib for ten bucks with some asparagus and potatoes, you really can't go wrong. That one's twenty dollars, it's double. My poor arteries, Midwest says. Really good. So you know ribeye is good though if you can eat all the fat too. Lee, I think I'm good after this. Very happy with this. I'd get this again here for sure. Karen's doing prime rib for Christmas. We're having, having Christmas catered this year. So uh, makes life a little easier. Brad Clark's in the house, talking smack. So the cool thing is, about a year ago, Brad Clark met a girl on one of Mr. Hanpage streams from Buffalo on Thanksgiving. Brad, why don't you move out there? He moved out with her in like early February. He just met her, and then. What ended up happening, Brad? Crashed and burned in like three weeks. And Brad stole in Buffalo. Dita, you're exactly right. Way too much risotto to be good. It's not how you, like risotto, you make in small batches. You ever watch Gordon Ramsay? I know the good life. Brad struggled out there. And then Brad was dating someone else. And then Brad started dating somebody else and was gonna buy a kayak. And then that didn't last long. <laughs> he goes, it was four weeks. And he goes, so get this, they met because of me and then they broke up because of me because Brad was trying to sleep because he had to fly out the next morning and she was so mad at him. She was so mad at him because he wanted to sleep and not watch Mr. Hampay live one night. <laughs> What's up, Jackie? Yeah, this is so good. Even with that bit of fat on it, it melts in your mouth. Yeah. 
So, Brad falls hard and fast. Yeah, that's one way to put it. We should have a Mr. Ham pay after dark. I'll tell you the other stories Brad has told me. <laughs> Brad, are you still going to the Bills party? Still trying that stuff. This is really good though. The steak is amazing. Yeah, it's really good. Uh -huh. Griffin goes, she was so in love with Brad on your streams. Yeah, Amanda, where'd you go? She disappeared real quick. Brad said that, yeah, all she would watch all day is slot streams. So good. Bill's Mafia, right, Brad? I want to choke slam you through a plastic table one of these days. Yeah, Hugh, thank you for everything on the Facebook Live tonight and all the time. I say I've got the best mods out there. By far. Oh, it's so good. Lee, there's nothing on the other table. I just threw some food over there. <sighs> Dita, amateur hour. So I think I should bring this home for my dog. I think she would love that. Dan said, did you enjoy gaming with Hector Slot Channel? I actually met him about a year ago in Vegas. Great dude, honestly. I um, support him all the way. Really good guy. Fernando, I don't even know where that is. Where is that that you're going to? All right. I don't know about this. Do I have a pet sitter? Yeah, sort of. I mean, I can take her to a bunch of places. What's up, Paula Petrie? Please, like, leave the prime rib. Bro, I can't step away from the prime rib. I gotta fill my belly. Get in my belly. Okay. I'm, the outside is not cooked like I would like, but. So like I take my girl with me virtually everywhere I go during the day. And then, when the girls get home on the bus, she waits out there for them. That's great. Let's try the asparagus. Yep. Dita has a five-year-old kid that's attached to her. Ed's like, eat the plate of mashed potatoes. No. They're like these, but there's no flavor to them. They're not that good. This is a waste of carbs, too. Uh uh, no way. It's 
So, what does it mean when it's fuzzy on top like that? Like it's going to seed? It's okay. How big was that steak? I don't know, 20 or, I think 24 ounce maybe? Dravian? <laughs> He's like in someone's hair. Okay. Looks like there's a lot of hair on this stuff today. <laughs> exactly, Brad. Are you getting this all on my fitness pal? Not anymore. I started taking a break from that over the holidays and maybe the rest of my life. We'll see. <laughs> What's up, Enos? I did order everything here. Okay. I can't even do it. I'm done with this. You cannot eat the... If you can't eat through the gristle and the fat and prime rib, you gotta be done with it. I hear you. I'm gonna take the bone home for my dog. Yeah, absolutely. Let me get you a box. It's okay. It's for my girlfriend. She loves it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Travian. Chris Pantal, you weirdo. So yeah, if you're gonna make risotto, you're not making it in batches like this. Much smaller. It's all right. I'm gonna throw, let's throw the steak in there too. That'd be fine. I'll give that to the dog too. Yeah, that's perfect. Yep, thank you. Give that to the dog. Fernando says the best prime ribs at Lori's. I've not been there. Would you like to save the asparagus as well? No, thank you. Thank you though. You want to know the best part of this meal? Me. Yep, you. Oh my it was you. Goodness, it was you. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> you see? Oh, tastes like toilet water again. Blech. Done with that. Sylvia, where am I? Rock River Bar and Grill. It's a steakhouse at Rockford Casino, Hard Rock. I am done with this too. One more. My grandparents would be mad at me. Not finishing everything that I bought. Yeah, QC, this is risotto. They gave me, I don't know, seven cups of it. And then there's your potatoes. I'd rather have rice aroni than that. Is it a must try or a drive by? Honestly, if it's free, you're gonna come here and eat, so. The prime rib was not good. It was not very tender. The steak was really good though. I'll take that. Maureen, that's a really good question. The question is, do you regularly drink toilet water? Yeah, no, I do sometimes, yeah. 
more toilet water, you said? I'm good. Get it right here. Oh, more toilet water. I'll pass, though. But I like this. I like this. This is good. Okay. Thank you, though. <laughs> yes, so after this, please check out my video of the Christmas lights. It's a country Christmas um, in, like, Pewaukee, Wisconsin, Oconomowoc area. If you're in the area, you got to stop there. It's the longest running um, light show, drive through light show in Wisconsin. 27 years, I believe. Oh, he was like, I don't know. I've been to a few places that weren't free, that were free, and I won't return to them. I understand that. So here you don't really have an option. I mean, it's all right. I'd come for the steak and the lobster. Thank you. QC want to go to the German Christmas event? They've got those like Christmas like things all over the place. Ed, don't order dessert. Did you guys ever see what happened at the Texas Roadhouse in West Bend, Wisconsin? Now that we're done eating, we can talk about it. So this would have been like maybe 15 or 16 years ago. Someone like returned a steak and they weren't happy with it. So the chef like took the knife you know, they, they cut it open and he put his pubes in it. And the uh, person got a huge lawsuit. So, called the Texas Pube House. Disgusting. So, learn my lesson. I do not ever return food. I would just order more. Just pay for it. Exactly, Brad. <laughs> True story, though. Look it up online. Texas Roadhouse, West Penn, Wisconsin. You'll see the article. Look under news stories. Oh, no, that's, that's toilet water. Don't drink that. <laughs> oh, I don't know, Slot Crush. That pigeon I had was absolutely disgusting. Honestly, I think about that and like the rubbery texture. The oh, the guy went to prison for that, Brad? I didn't know that. <laughs> Gross. Okay, Sky Rat, yeah. That was disgusting. The Grand Geneva Light Show in Lake Geneva. What is that, Griffin? Is that a, um, is that like a drive through thing, or what is it? I don't know. Sky Rats. Brad, what's better, pigeon or goose? When I went to Northern Iowa, six years, wow. When I went to Northern Iowa, they had a Texas Roadhouse. I really liked it. It was like the place I'd look forward to eating with my family when they'd come and watch my games after. But stay away from it now. Just because a one employee. Remember, you're only as good as your weakest link as an employer. Right? Remember that. Some was good, some was not. Oh, what was the best? Some was good, some was not. Um, so the salad, the, the wedge salad. Yeah, the dressing was watered down pretty bad. Oh, really? Yeah, like it just would, it would just come out. It was, that was like okay. The French onion soup was really, really good. Okay. I feel like this is a, too much of a, too big of a serving. For risotto? For risotto, I think it should yeah. be much smaller. I agree with that. And it's a little salty and it's, it's okay, it's not, it's not made individual fresh risotto, is it? They, well, obviously the risotto, the actual risotto itself, yeah. is kind of by itself. They part cook that because cooking risotto yeah. to order would be insane right now. Yeah. Um, I do agree on the portion size. It's sure. just way too big, and it, yeah. it's sort of like when you see, because it should be like a quarter of that probably, right? right? It should be like right in the middle of it. Yeah. And, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I just think it's too much. There's no flavor to that. I didn't really eat those. Some of the bread was a little, um, was dry. The, the amazing things were the lobster, like probably some of the best. It was cooked perfectly. I like the the grill marks on it. Our grill guy, insane. So he's cooking on a 1500 degree. 1500 degree, okay. And then the um, the prime ribeye was one of the best I've ever had. Oh, shit. That was really good, yeah. But then go to the prime rib. I mean, for 10 bucks, it's 10 bucks, but it was shit. It was terrible. Well, you couldn't like, like usually prime rib, you can eat through all the, fat or gristle or whatever. There was a lot of fat on this one I noticed here too. A lot of, actually I got one more complaint about it. Too, but yeah, no, it, but for $10, you're not, you're not serving. We're not getting prime, right? Like, yeah, <laughs> or even probably really choice on that yeah. stuff. So 
No, I get it. Otherwise, I mean, it was good. Like, there were some really good. What you think? Really you got, uh, did you get the bernet sauce or hollandaise? Or I didn't get any sauce on it. No. Okay. no, no. But I the know, steak. I you ordered stuff. I wanted to get your feedback. Yeah, I know the steak. The steak was uh, the steak was phenomenal, though. We're the... gonna try that new one down the street when we open down the street. Okay. We're gonna have a dry aged butcher shop inside the restaurant. Oh, you are. Yes. Are you gonna have a big wine room too? Oh, yeah. I'll have two hundred fifty awesome. bottles uh, that I'm picking myself. That's great. So I wish you guys could comp that in Illinois, but you can't. So one way that casinos get around it, if you ever think about this, but what they can do is they can comp gift cards in a casino, and then they use the gift cards to pay for the wine and alcohol. Oh, that's brilliant. I don't know why we didn't think of that. So you should talk to people. There's casinos that do that. That's yeah. the way to do it. Yeah. Well, yeah, because I want to comp a round of drinks for someone who had a bad experience or a celebratory, like, whatever. Mm -hmm. I have... We inherited, so I don't know if you're from, from around the area, but we inherited a lot of liquor from Giovanni's. Oh. Man, I have Bordeaux down there from 2000, 1999, 1998. You do? Oh, I do. So next time you're in, I'll give you my card, man. That's great. Wine, I've got 2,000 bottles in the cellar at home. Oh, man. All right. If yeah. you're into wine, come see me next time. We'll play around with some stuff. That's great. Yeah. How did you guys inherit that? So they didn't take any, any of the liquor. We bought it with the building. Oh, this was a grocery store. This was Giovanni's. It was an Italian restaurant. Oh. And they had a banquet hall. But they also had an insane wine list. They didn't even know half the bottles they actually had. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. man, I got probably 20, 30 different Bordeaux on there from 2000 to 99. That's amazing. 98. Now, granted, some of it wasn't stored correctly. Yeah. But I'll hook you up, man. I'm talking like 20, 30 bucks. We'll sit down with the bottle. Yeah, I would definitely do that. That's great. No, thank you. Thanks, Corey. I'm Jason. Yeah, Corey. Oh, uh, thank you for your feedback, man. And I can take it off the bill if you like No, no, no. It's all comped anyway. Oh, perfect. Okay, yeah. cool. Uh, this is my YouTube channel. If you get bored, you can oh, have that. Cool. Yeah. Mr. Handbag. Yeah. Very cool. Right. I just go live when I'm eating sometimes, and like there's people watching. And oh, that's cool. Yeah, we talk about you it. Do you ever so. do a lot of restaurant reviews and stuff? I, at some point, I'll do a lot more on my other channel, but. Well, if you ever need help with restaurant reviews, let me know, man. Awesome. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm done with everything. I'm just taking the, the 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 bottom one. That's all I'm taking with. So. All right, man. Thanks, Corey. Yep. You. you too. All right. So that's that's pretty exciting. So he's got Bordeaux from 2000 and before, not stored correctly. You can find out pretty quickly. So if they're good or bad. He thought you were an actual food critic undercover. I'm not too undercover. I've got like a tripod microphone on me stuff everywhere yeah right okay so let's see what are we gonna tip her she did a nice job today and it's not that busy so i feel bad for her so where is my wallet Oh, you're not a food critic? No, I just play slot machines. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Exactly. Yeah, John, you're going to have to check out the uh, the steak. It was so good. <sighs> Kelly, yeah, you're right. Don't forget about the 12 meals that I ordered to take home. Fernando says I should give a 20% tip. So the bill is at 580 bucks. So we'll call it 600 right? Some people don't ta tip on tax. Do you tip on tax? How much would you guys? Where's the man purse? Oh, the Louie with the matching Wally. That one? It's right there. All right. So with tip, with tax, Tracy says it's 100 QC says 150. Okay. How much more? What would you guys do? Okay, Watchin says 50%. So you say 300. Okay. Ooh, Dita says $111. Taku says 300. All right, we got another 111. Matt says 50%. Okay, all right, 150, 190. So one thing that's interesting on my like regular channel, right, where I'm playing slot machines, people always think 
They're like, you don't tip, you don't tip. I tip every single jackpot all the time. And most of the people I tip, you don't even see. I don't even show it. Oh, Drabian said she was nice, so probably 25%. So you're saying 150, okay. JPC says $120. Sandy made a good point. She goes, you don't punish the waitress for the chef. She gets your 20%. I'm not complaining about the food. Like, like I don't want to pay for it. I always want to pay for it. Yep, Dita. Dita and I have gone to many dinners with her husband, you weirdos. Mario, great dude. Fix all my machines. Robin, Robin's there too, with her husband. QC goes, John Robertson, he cannot record in the Quad Cities. Well, should we go there and try to? Sandy goes, I'm thinking Mr. Hampe knows how to tip. You guys want to look for her reaction? Let's ask her some questions when she gets here. Oh, hand pay K. Who are you? So there's some important questions you should always ask a server, though. You're white people. Okay, so we have a question for you. What's your name? Diana. Diana? Hi. So, do you guys get to keep all your own tips here? That is correct. You do? But we, I mean, we share it. If, does that make sense? So we keep it, yes, but then we you have pay to, out. Well, no, you get all your own tips, though. That is correct, yes. You don't have to share with every other server? No. Okay, cool. I'll put it on the card. Okay. That's okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so the reason I asked that is because here's what ends up happening. A lot of times... A lot of times you will give a big tip and then it's split between everybody, right? It's sort of like Brad Brad Clark will be able to um, relate to this. Like he's a dealer at a casino and he's one of the best dealers when he was a dealer, right? And what ends up happening, Brad works his butt off, gets a ton of money in tips, and then you see people that just don't really care, right? And then they end up reaping all the benefit from Brad working his butt off. So like a lot of dealers, they want to work at a casino like in Arizona or California where you get to actually keep all your own tips. Yeah, we can ask her that. I don't really care. We'll see what she says. What's the biggest tip? What do you guys think the biggest tip she has ever received was, or is. Was, is, was. Sandy, your daughter's biggest tip was $1,000. Carol says that isn't right. What's well, not right? Oh, probably 400 for a big party. They wanna know what the biggest tip is you've ever received? $100. What? So I normally don't work in Rock River. I work in the Midway in the bar. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, thank you. And it was like $25 back. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We didn't put it on my, uh, we didn't do my cap. Is it too late? Is it too late? I mean, I can put it. It's never too late. Okay. Let's do a cap first. Yep. Sorry about that. That's my fault. Okay. So there's two for $250 and then $50 thing. Let's do that first and then do my other stuff after. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Am I screwing this up? No. Okay. You're doing it on purpose, aren't you? No, I, for, I forgot. I didn't remember. Well, I, well, that's what I was thinking, but then you gave me the card, so I thought maybe you had changed your mind. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, use it up. Use it up. Yeah. Use all your comps and whatever's left on the card. 
No, use the 550 and then and then put the rest on the card. Yeah. Well, thank you. All right, I'm gonna give her 500 bucks. She did a nice job. Yeah, so Fernando, the pit boss does not get any of the tips. I can promise that. Take care of your servers. You guys wanna know a fun story about me? So growing up, my mom was a waitress, right? And I had a brother, my brother's no longer here, but he was a couple years younger than me. Um, and we would always like hope my mom would get like a Friday night shift at this place. And if she got a Friday night, she would make like 125 bucks, right? And it was a lot of money for us back then. And if she ended up getting that shift and we got a bunch of money, our, like what we could have on a Saturday is go to Pizza Hut and get a pizza. Like we were just so happy about that, right? So I always take care of servers, right? I just think it's important. Um, always take care of tip positions any any time that you can. So, yeah, that was my story growing up. We didn't really have much. We didn't have anything at all. We worked real hard. I worked real hard to get to where I am today. <laughs> Dina. Yeah, I don't know that I'm gonna make someone's Christmas. I mean, it's it's 500 bucks, you know. <laughs> yep, watching you. Yep, you raised four kids waitressing. You know what it's like. But she only got $100 working in the sports bar. That's that's a crime. Yeah. So she'll come over here. Five times her biggest tip. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if she'll cry. I don't know. I'm not looking for that. So that's one thing I don't like to do, though. Like, for somebody doing their job, I don't like to see someone's reaction. You know, there's, there's other channels, even slot channels that do that. They give people money and want to see the reaction. I don't do that. I just give them the money. You know what I mean? What is the biggest tip I've ever given? I don't know. I do this often. I've probably given $1,000 to someone. Your slotty best friend. Yeah, so DoorDash, I can see your tips are horrible. I think part of the problem with, like, DoorDash and Uber is they advertised that originally as a <clears throat> tip is included. I tip my biggest hand pay, I think it was a thousand bucks, but I tip so much, you guys gotta realize, like sometimes I go to these casinos and I'll have a hundred jackpots, if I tip 20 to a hundred dollars a jackpot or more, it really adds up, right? Whether I'm up or down, I'm always tipping and I end up giving them a lot. So we'll see when she comes back. What's her name again, I forgot. I'm terrible with names if you guys don't know. Kind of shoes, I, I just have the, uh, I'll show you. Ooh, that's my face. It's really dark. Very hard to see. Just the Gucci boots. Your slotty best friend, I did a $600 liquor DoorDash and they tipped me 20 bucks. I was so mad. Ooh. Could you imagine ordering solar salt and not tipping? Like delivering a bunch of bags of solar salt? That'd be terrible. All right, she's coming over here. All right, we'll, we'll see if she wants to be on camera. Oh, you can decline orders? Should I ask her to subscribe? 
and then give her another hundred. Karen, you did catch a live. You did catch a live. All right, so we're at 100 minutes here. You guys watch me eat. We're about ready to tip our waitress. The biggest one she ever got is 100 bucks. We're gonna tip her five. Oh, creme brulee? I don't like that. Not me. Don't take no for an answer, Mr. Hanpei. What, if she'll subscribe or take my coin? You better take it. Do you know it's good for you? Take, your, take the coin. Yeah, I'm not into creme brulee at all. Not really my thing, I don't know. If it's in front of me, I'll probably eat it and fill my tummy, but that's it. Chico, you still here? Because your under doesn't look so great anymore. It's 28 to zero in the second quarter. What's up, Miss Blossom? She was one of the winners of the House of Homemade Sausage Package. How were the sausages, Miss Blossom? I know Hugh had some. He said they were some of the best he's had. It's different, it's really rich, rich, rich stuff. It's hard to eat, right? And Dita, what do you think? Do you like the vertical or horizontal live better? Like I said, I said before you were in here, YouTube is recommending that we do it vertical. Miss Bossom said it was so yummy. And Dita, when is our Dragon Link? Is that uh, this Sunday is our big one? Fly Crush likes it horizontal better. Tony says don't put a reaction on camera. I would agree with you. <laughs> you guys like horizontal better. Sunday is gonna be one of the biggest, uh, one of the coolest videos you guys will see for Dragon Link. Got some massive bets. You guys are gonna freak out watching this one. Robin was there for it. The slot, the, the room was on. It was crazy. Boxy Chick likes it vertical. Abdita's got it in here. Sunday, it's gonna be fun. I'm back and you're still there. Midwest Slots, we're just about to give our waitress a nice big tip and a kiss on the lips. <laughs> just kidding, I'm not gonna do that. Who says that? Had like one too many waters or too much red meat. Oh, Cassidy, she's back too. Weird. 150 of you people watching right now. I'm back, Cassidy said. The meat sweats, Karen says. Raise your hand if you think I'll make it home without stopping to go to the bathroom. <laughs> That's gross. What was the best part, Cassidy said? Karen, that's why you have a cell phone. You can watch it at the eight-year-old's birthday party. Duh. Put some ear pods in. The best part was honestly the lobster. I think that was the best. Did they spike the risotto? Yeah, they gave me the entire pot of risotto. Dewala, you're right, I ate pretty good, so I won't feel super bloated later. Yeah, The Good Life, they've got a lot of, <laughs> they got a lot of like 1500 degree, you know, grills at places that they cook at. Dina goes, Jason's famous words, did you poop yet? <laughs> I did that to her on a live once after he ate. Uh, 
<laughs> Robin, yep. That's late in the evening for an eight-year-old's birthday on a Sunday. Midwest, I have a vehicle that drives me home, so I'm okay. It'll just drive me. What's up, Jamie? We're just about ready to tip our waitress here. We had a really good meal. Eh, sort of. The company was better. All of you. You know, me talking to myself. People look at me like I'm nuts. <sighs> Tony's like, I bet one of those cheesecakes don't make it home. Promise they will. Yeah, they will. Cheryl's Adventures. Hey, girl. Cheryl, we're just about to, we were talking about tipping. Some people think I don't tip. And uh, we're going to tip the waitress here in a second. John, you plumb the gas into some of those 1,500 degree grills. That's cool. What's up, Steve Robertson? Oh, Martin. You can give that to someone, not me. Dewala, am I going to need help? I know. Bringing all this food home. Paul. Paul is the guy on a few of our videos that's flexing. I think you'll see him on our Monday night uh, premiere, Dragon or uh, Buffalo Link. Another Buffalo Link. Jen B, there she is. Exactly, get your freak on. <laughs> that's me. Steve Robertson, any jackpots lately? No, nothing. Just watch my Facebook from earlier. Here, I'm at a casino. <sighs> now I'm stuffed. I wonder if they're able to fix it. You able to fix it? Working on it. Almost. Almost. Okay. You got time, right? Yeah, we're ready though. I just gotta wait for Corey. The cool got to over here. Oh, okay, okay. cool. Thank oh. you. All right, so we're almost there. Yep, Cheryl was just on a cruise. Another one. Cheryl's on land for half the year and on water for the other half. Cheryl's adventures. Tuku says, what's your plan on Christmas and New Year's Eve? Well, I'll tell you everything so you can come and rob my house. How does that sound? <laughs> so wait, we are tipping the server? Yeah, we're gonna tip the server, Gen B. Kimiko Casino, Slot Adventures. Hey. <laughs> Would I go on a cruise, The Good Life says. Like a Disney cruise with my daughter. I always have my daughter, so it's really hard. I can't be gone that long, so I would never do that. Always put her first. My daughter before gambling. Sorry, freaks. But if you're not following this page, you probably should. At some point, I think it'll be bigger than Mr. Handpay. Hard to imagine, but just wait. You'll see. Oh, Jamie, yep. Family first. Always watch your grandbaby first. But what you could do is watch your grandbaby and maybe have me in your ear when I'm live in case I say your name, so. Mm. Yeah, Paul, you're in the Monday night premiere. Yeah, Karen, I, I did go on a Disney cruise with her this year. JC? Jackie or J JC? I don't know. Jackie with a CI? You love both channels. Which part of my beard do you like better, the gray or the black? The brown. Hand pay K. Yeah, it's going to be that whole weekend of January 15th, somewhere in there. Cheryl, is this meal comp? Yep, $550. We spent every dollar of it. Yeah, Tracy, the hard thing is is to find people that want to cater Christmas, right? It's tough. Hugo's, the gray is growing on us. It's like white almost. Getting real old. Can I do filters too on my face? 
Oh, I could. I'm at no filter right now. Yeah, I'm no filter. Let's do pop. Beam. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Okay, we'll go to regular. No filter. Yep, Cassidy, you got to go to Foxwoods and Vegas in January. That's a lot. <laughs> Gen V's like, don't filter that beautiful face. I know. It's hard to keep the ladies off of this face here. Can't you tell? <laughs> Foxy Chick. I would do BC's boat boot camp, but I had my daughter that weekend, so it won't work. Midwest Slots, spaghetti for Christmas? That's probably a lot easier than this. Karen, I've not stayed at Resorts World. I played there. Actually, the first spin on a machine when they opened, I got a hand pay. And then I started to lose a lot. Robin's got a very busy January. Yep, it's Robin's and my birthday month. Have I met VLR? Nope, I have not. Yep, Cheryl met Hector, too, at the Cosmopolitan. He's a good guy, he is. Still waiting on the server to come back so we can tip her. Because it was my fault. I didn't give her my card for a comp. So I was just paying, I wasn't gonna pay for this meal. Let the casino pay for it. Fountain Blue, no, good life, they never, they never reached out to me. Kelly has to work on Christmas. Hope you get paid a lot. Jackie, we don't say that name here. See, it's gone. People are freaking out here. Jenny, happy early birthday. <laughs> Jackie, you're fine. No, we're good. We hang out with the channels that have no drama. It's amazing. Sorry about that. That's my fault. No, 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 not a problem. I like challenges. You like challenges? I do. Guess what? You get to. No, you can't write with that. What? You gotta write with this one. What is it? All right, let's write it. Which one is it? So you got the bells on. I do have the bells. It's Diana. It's just this. It's just that. Oh, wait. That's not what we were seeing. No, okay. These, these are just little, like, pom-pom pens. Yeah. But that's... If I have too many of those, I, you would hear me from across the casino for sure. Yeah. So you're all set. Uh, you did a great job. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I gave you a little tip. I appreciate it. Five, five, 500 it bucks. You're the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, so we'll see you again soon? Yeah. All right. Thank you again. Thank you. See, whatever. Uh, she tries hard. I think she was like... <laughs> she went to change her pants, and I'm going to go change mine pretty soon, too. After drinking all that butter. I'll leave a coin on the table. So, that's like almost two hours with me here. Is that enough? All right, that's it. No more tonight. Make sure you're subscribed to this and Mr. Handpay. I do appreciate you guys. See you, Cheryl. Good to see you. It's been real. If you didn't watch it all, go back and watch it again. You can still type and pretend you're talking to me. We'll respond. I'll respond in the comments. But Midwest Slots is like, no. You guys are all awesome. I'll do some more of these, though, if you can tell everyone about me and more people will watch them. But yeah, just hit the thumbs up. We got more thumbs up than we have in people in here right now. But that is great. Keep your notifications on. We have a lot of stuff coming up. And thank you, everybody. I will see you real soon. Big, big live next Wednesday on uh, Mr. Hempe. A YouTube live. It'll be a big one.
really excited. Thank you guys. See you very soon. Bye-bye.